Hi everybody, this is Cyrus from iPhoneAppsFun.com. Today I'm reviewing Cardio. It's it's a neat app that I, I saw in a couple of blogs. They were covering it and it's a touchless heart rate monitor. What it does is it uses your phone's front camera to analyze the, the light that's reflected off of your face and then it tells you your heart rate. So it, it's actually pretty cool. Now I've been playing around with it and at first I wasn't really getting great results so I, I had to actually switch from my iPad to iPad to, to my iPad 3 just to make sure you know that the results that I was getting were accurate and they were pretty close on both devices so how, how it works is you have this red ring red circle and you have to make sure your face fits the red circle and it, the app actually tells you and if you're not doing it right it's not going to start counting as well as measuring your heart rate so and once you do that then it's going to take about six or five or six seconds and then it tells you so from for me it gave me 87 at first and then went to 85 and my heart rate is around that area that region depending on what I'm doing if I'm seated sitting on my desk and my chair that the, there's going to be obviously a different reading so I didn't have to touch it I didn't have to do anything really I just well I did have to touch the um, the middle of the circle just to start the process but So one one of the things that I the one of the issues that I have with this app is the accuracy. It's actually pretty close, but it's not. It's not really simple. You, when I first picked it up, and I thought, I'm just gonna touch in the middle, and I'm gonna get the accurate result. And it wasn't the case. You have to make sure you read the instructions that they give you. Like you have to look ahead to the camera. You have to make sure that you are in the area I mean you don't want to do this in a dark room that doesn't really make any sense you want to make sure your face the camera can see it I mean if it can't see your face then you're not gonna get accurate results which was the first time I did this and I didn't have the exact the great lighting that it, the app needs so I got 34 which is pretty low for for, for someone like me so and that it was saying that if you go here that's why I have an average rate of 73 because the first time that I did it and then I recorded it actually it was 34 and then I had a 93 and an 85 so the average came out to 73 after a bunch of times that I did this and it says that based on that I'm gonna live 77 years So you can change your setting. I, I haven't, let's say, what if I say, there we go. This I wouldn't recommend if you, well, you want to make sure that you first get it right and then you use these features, but See if I if I click this and there's nothing in there, it's not gonna start. It needs to have your face on it to to start. So it's actually pretty neat. This is a project, if I'm not mistaken, this is a project that was done at MIT Media Lab. No, I'm not exactly familiar with the project, but the app is it has gotten a ton of coverage and TechCrunch on other huge huge websites so so what I would suggest if, if you are picking up this app it's not gonna be hundred percent accurate it's gonna be close it's not something that medical professionals should probably not just rely on this to to get 
you know, to, if you are in an emergency situation, I'm, I'm not sure this is something you want to use. Now, if the developers can correct me, I the, the, the results are pretty accurate. I, I calculated mine with three different methods and it was about 93 and the app was giving me 90 and then there was an 86 at a different times. So there was a 34, but the reason that happened was because I was doing it in a dark room and I wasn't exactly looking to the camera. So that was my fault and I saved it and that's why my average is messed up. That's about it. The app is available for $4.99, not $4.99, $4.99, about $5. I got it for about a dollar because the, it was getting a discount for Labor Day. And I'm sure these guys are going to offer discounts in the future, but if you need it, it's pretty cool. It's fun to play around with. If, if you like us to review other apps like this, you can go to iPhoneAppsFinder.com and contact us. Just say what apps you want us to review and and we'll get back to you or, or just review it on YouTube. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a fun app. Have fun.